Hello. Um, uh, the, I'm back again. This is Pavan. So again, you know me. Um, this video will be about talking about the kids adjustment in India. And uh, it will be gender neutral, but I have two daughters. So I'm going to talk about that. And why I'm going to talk about that is when I was moving back to India, a lot of people suggested me, oh, you have a girl child, you know, you have two girl child. You think India is safe for them. And uh, do you think you're doing justice to the with them? Do you think your kids will be safe and secure like in America? Do you think um, they'll be able to adjust in the society? All those things and all of those are genuine questions. People who ask me those questions who are my best wishers. Um, they were trying to, you know, give me a different perspective. They want me to look at the different angle all those sort of things so i'm going to i'll try to answer these questions from the um children perspective or kids perspective to get adjusted in india what they go through the daily life and all those things so i'll i'll try to cover that and see how it goes so i have two kids and two daughters and they go to the school here i had all those questions in my mind that um given all the news circulating around in India, about India, this is happening, that is happening. You know, I don't want to use those words, um, the misbehaviors and all those sort of things happening in different part of India. It's always in the news. So first thing first, I noticed, um, again, I'm not trying to say that these things are not happening in India or any part of the world. But my thing is, I stopped reading the newspapers long time back. I stopped watching the news channels long time back. A lot of people call me crazy for that because they say, oh, you are not aware of the world, what is going on. You will hear the news which you need to hear from some people here and there. You don't have to just watch the news channels. So the news channels and the newspapers have become a most pessimistic thing on the planet ever. They just keep finding a negative news about every situation and just showing you to that. That's how they attract the people. So uh, let me give you the example that if you see in the news, something really good happened somewhere, right? Okay, so somebody is doing really a good thing. You know, would you circulate that kind of news a lot? Or would you circulate a news? Oh, look, this happened there, you know, and there's such a bad things are happening. People are more inclined to circulating the negative news. How many times you go to a, a write a review on the restaurants or some websites when you got a good product versus when you have a bad product? You're more likely to write a review when you got a bad product rather than writing a good reviews. Some people do that, but I'm just suggesting you that the negative things spread faster and more faster. The same thing happens in India. You know, if you keep looking at the negative stuff, you will never be able to move back to India. You'll never be happy wherever you're living. There are bad things in the news for America. There is a bad thing about every single country. So I don't do that, first thing. Now, talking about the security of the kids in the India, you know, I was very much clear that I wanted to live in the gated society. The simple reason, in this town, my parents have a house. Um, I would have lived there very comfortably, pretty big, much, pretty good enough to, you know, live. I would have constructed it according to me. But I never want to do that because I want to live in a gated society where other kids are living. So that's the first step I took. And that is the best, best decision of my life. I'll tell you why. Because when you when you live in the gated society, you don't have to worry about the security. There is a security on the door. Who's coming in, who's going out as taken care. So you don't need to do that by yourself or somebody. You don't have to appoint someone to do that. Second is there is a there is a play area in the society where kids play. So my kids have my priority was like I need to have a play area for the kids. It's it should be big enough. So my kids doesn't miss out on this thing. So they, they have pretty much big area for the playing in the kids in the society I live in. Uh, so they get a lot of time there with the other kids. They play with the other kids and have a good time. 
third thing is like from the security point of view, my only criteria for selecting this school was secure. Like looking at the security, what kind of people who are running the school? What 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 is the security level like? Do they how the school looks like overall, right? And hygiene, those two criteria. Education was third for me. Um, again, I'm I. This is me. I give first importance to security, second is hygiene, and third is education. So uh, the school I chose was okay, decent school given all these things. So if you do these things and um, fourth is like, I had to give you an example. Now before fourth, I'll give you an example. Now this school where my daughter goes to, my daughter goes to, they, when the bus comes, there is a lady um, assistant in the bus with them, dropping them, picking up them, helping them out with the driver and conductor. So you're getting my point. There are a few people in the bus and they make sure that the girls are not dropped last. Even if they are, there is a lady, a teacher accompanying them, or there is a there is an assistant, lady assistant accompanying them, something like that. So that I was really I was really happy to see that. That's how I chose the school. So fourth is like security point of view. I my kid doesn't roam around outside, you know. It doesn't like they, they go on the street or anything. But to be honest with you, I haven't noticed till now any eve teasing in last one year in Indore. So haven't I seen that before? I did. But I see the society is getting matured. People are understanding what is right and what is wrong. Uh, and the boys on that age generation is taught well by their parents. And it's not like that only the the girl child parents are worried. The boys child's parents, the people who have boys also teaching them the right kind of things. The internet, the media, the people, everybody is playing the role in there. So society is changing very fast. So from the security point of view of your kid, even you have a girl child or a boy child, I don't notice big difference, right? And given the the society we belong to, the given the school you will choose for your kids, the given the kind of things you can afford, you don't have to worry about all these things as I feel. So I'm pretty much um, comfortable. I don't see any challenges for them. And they have blast. They have blast. I'll try to, I'll try to see if my wife wants to talk about the same things from the woman perspective. Uh, she will definitely may have better perspective than mine, as always the women do, because she is a mother. So mothers are usually uh, have a totally different angle towards the things, and which is much much better than father. I totally agree with that, and um, I'm I'm a big believer of that. So so that's that's those kind of things, you know. So I don't feel that you need to worry about those security aspect, as per my knowledge. Given that things. Things happen in every country, you know. There are good people, bad people in every country. Incidents happen in every single country. Does it does it not happen in America? Uh, I don't know. Maybe happening. There are people there. There are people like you and me in India. There are people like you and me in America. There are good people in America, bad people in America. All those things are happening everywhere. I don't want to go in comparison, the details, you know, all those things. Because I respect both the countries equally. America, I respect a lot. I, India, I respect a lot. They both, they both, I respect. So I don't go into those discussion bad versus good. I would never ever say that the India is the better country and the America's worst country, something like that. From my point of view, so those kind of things will never happen. So given all that, you don't have to worry about the security aspect of the country. You don't have to worry about the 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 school. Um, you will find a lot of decent school in every single city. So you, you will have an okay life here. Um, and you can afford a lot of things. If you want to have somebody to take care of your kid while they go to the bus stop. I have a friend who lives in this community. And they both go to office on the same time. And um, they want to have somebody accompanying their kid to the bus stop and bring them, bring her their daughter to the bus stop to the home before they come from um, school. So I think, and they have cameras installed in the co communities, the community I live, there are cameras. They installed the camera in their apartment also. 
and they go to the the lady takes her from the home drop us to the school come back and she does that so you can do all those sort of things you know it's not it's not going to be like you don't have those kind of facilities there so you you can find out all those things there so given all that i i would not worry worry much too about the security and those aspects uh if you're making a decision you know um, these things will come to your mind if it doesn't people will remind you of that that this the have you thought about it? um bad things happen anywhere my my thing is be positive and you know make a proper judgment i'm not saying be positive and jump in the jump from the building i'm saying be positive at the same time make the right decision choose the good school choose the good community choose the good place to be um similarly if you are in a downtown in the night in america like atlanta downtown or any other downtown for that matter which is not safe you made a choice you made a wrong choice right so i'm not i'm not saying this this is good or that is bad i'm just giving an example that everywhere everywhere things can be good or bad it just like what places you want to be as for your family is safer um what is good for you don't worry too much about it. again my intention not to give tell you that move tomorrow everything is greener i'm just giving you my perspective i haven't noticed this make up your mind look at the things come here look at the schools look at the things understand and then make the decision i hope i did justice with the topic of this covering the kids and security and schools and those kind of things um if i haven't i missed anything please comment you know let's learn from each other so here we go thank you very much for time